Waystone members, can I interest you in some sand? I've got some sand for 50% off for one diamond. Three stacks, really incredible deal. Let's take a look, very plain sand for your needs. You can make to glass, you can make to anything, you can even drop it onto people to hurt them. Hello, I'm Applesteg, and welcome back to the Waystone Season 3, Episode 3. We're currently next to my starter home. You can see it through the trees a bit. No, not really, but anyways. Yes, we have been having a fantastic time on the server. Oh, it's been so much fun. Everyone is so active and putting up content. Oh, I'm so proud of everyone. And not only that, but it's becoming a server I intended it to be. A dedicated content creator server. So, you may have been noticing this incredible amount of work that has been going on in this hill. And these little stands that Jados has been selling, I bought one you may have noticed in the first clip. But let's take a look at some of the stuff that we have at Central Spawn. The Nerdians have come together to coordinate a beautiful build, the Waystone Tower, to mark the Central of Spawn. Oh man, how do they do it? It's a build team, but how do people come together as like four people and build something that's so incredibly fit? I just, I, if I built with someone, my builds would be everywhere along with theirs. I just, I guess you have to spend a lot of time with someone to get at this level of building. Good job, Nerdians. Oh man, I'm proud of you guys. It must have took a lot of work. So yes, along with the fantastic times, the Waystone has upgraded servers. Yes, we have upgraded to a premium server. So everything is written to SSD instead of HDD. Oh, it's, it's much better. No more lag, really. We haven't had any anyways. But let's go over to our sand stand and take a look at it. So Jados had offered this stand for one diamond. I insisted to pay five diamonds. I thought it was an excellent play since it's so close to spawn. And I couldn't really think of any other simple materials to sell. So I went with sand. It's, it's very easy to collect. I can make a profit off of it. And you know, someone can make use of that. They can turn it into glass and other reasons you may have been aware of this episode. But yeah, nice little build. Ooh, Jados, you are talented, good sir. I stole a couple of stacks just for my own purposes. I really do not need to do that. But in today's episode, I want to get some stuff done that has been clawing at me since like the first episode. We've got to find a place to put a permanent base, the main concept base, yes. And since we aren't limited by several bases like we were in season two, I want to stick with a main concept and try not to do anything in between aside from spawn and that main concept. Maybe some projects here and there, maybe some collaborations. But oh boy, we've got a lot ahead of us. So I'm going to try to find that area, maybe do a build at spawn if I can, if I can think of anything we need. Oh, we've progressed a lot in this week. I think we've pretty much done everything in the game. Everyone's killed the wither, it seems. Everyone's killed the inner dragon several times. But yeah, let's get on with the episode and see what we can find in the surrounding areas. Oh, it even looks better from above. You can see all of its grandness and how the pathways connect. Oh, it's nice. I love the jungle. I think it's a fun place to build because there's so much green to work with and how you can form it until what you want it to do. Oh, it's nice. Back at our starter home, but I was wanting to lift off and see if there's any areas in the vicinity that we can begin at building our base or get some ideas. I want it somewhere that has a bit of similar terrain as this. Maybe perhaps not the jungle biome, but something pretty green. Here's a spawn island. <laughs> that we started off in episode one. And if we kept going, there is some other biomes in the area, but I don't want to take anyone's claim. I know some people have been making claims. Oh, these are kind of cool, like the dome islands. Oh, it's a big desert. I didn't even know there was a desert out here. I had been mining from a similar desert. But I was wanting to go with a more green build. So searching for that is going to be my priority for now. Looks like I gotta gather some more gunpowder so I don't get stuck off in the distance and have to walk all the way back. But hopefully we will find something. I always thought it'd be a very cool idea to build in a dark oak forest. However, the way my base is set up, if I done it in the middle of the forest, 
then I would have to remove a lot of things because it's going to be quite a big build. We have this clearing next to the Dark Oak Forest. Sometimes you will see these naturally generate in the midst of this. And I think I want to utilize this space. Maybe look a little bit more just to be sure there aren't cooler spaces. I've been through the Dark Oak Forest, but not really over this way. Hmm. Well, it's kind of small, isn't it? We're going to need quite a large space for this build. We may even have to leech into this, kind of chop it away. But yeah, I think I'm going to screenshot this area just to keep it in mind. Let's go ahead and do that real quick so I know where it's at. And just keep looking. I'm going to have to gather some more gunpowder before attempting going really far out. I was on my way back to spawn and someone had informed me that I have no sand left. Wow, who? Oh, the Nerdians like sand. Oh, that's nice. Thank you, Nerdians. I got to replace some of that then. Go flying to the desert biome. Oh man, that is a considerable profit. You know, like I said, I wanted to build in a green area. I think we've found where we want our season three base. The Savannah biome, it sounds really fun. This is a big, huge area that we could utilize for this base build. Lots of green in the area, very peaceful place to work. Have a bunch of mobs in the vicinity, passive mobs, like sheep. Oh, that's nice to have. But I wanted to extend this base quite far. I don't know if we're going to use all this space, but when you're down in the midst of it, it seems bigger. Or from a top, it seems smaller. It's kind of strange. But yes, the mountainside's kind of curving, blocking it off, making it look cool. And not only that, but we do have other biomes in the vicinity that we could make use of, along with these very cute little llamas. Just look at me. Just look at me. I want to see your face. Ah. Why aren't you such a cute little fellow? Oh, Leonard, I'm sorry. Oh, they can spit at you. <laughs> totally forgot about that. Sorry, Leonard. That's not Leonard. He's not the same Leonard that Llama Freak had. But yes, not only that, we have something else very cool over the mountainside. This. I have blocked all the villagers in, so it should be fine. I'm going to go down there just to make sure I got all of the villagers in because it's turning nighttime. And they're going to begin going into their little huts. And I'm going to keep them protected so that we can transport them into our base easily. I'm just going to make sure that all of these are blocked up. Let's see. Okay, there's a villager standing behind his house when it's getting nighttime. Slightly concerning. Yes, go back in your home. There we are. Block you in. No one can get to you. We're keeping you safe. Slightly trapped, but very safe. Okay, he's stuck in there. He's going to annoy me with this. Your ramblings. But yeah, I believe that's all the villagers I will need for my villager breeder that I will be making in my base. It's obviously going to be something in the future we're going to look at. Oh, I like this area. I think it's time that we build a temporary area to work in. Oh, I've got some great plans. I'm not going to reveal the base today. Oh, but it's going to be nice. I literally just said I didn't want to do my base reveal today. I am going to go back on that and say I do because I started looking at spawn and there's not a lot of builds to contribute right now. I need some more ideas. I've got to give it some time and that's what it's going to take. There's Frimp. Just got slain by a wither skeleton. Poor cat. But yes, today we have hit 1,000 subscribers. That's a crazy number for the people who watch the Waystone videos. Oh, thank you so much. It means a lot. I'm going to go over to my sand sand just to see if there's any other cells. I don't know if I restocked it. Cannot even remember. May have to get on that at some point later in the episode or off camera. But yes, yeah, only two stacks. And I was going to check my mailbox as well. Someone said there was stuff in there. And I need to check into that. Let's just fly down this way. Great thing about the hillside. You could just kind of fly down. There's some vines everywhere. You can grasp onto without taking fall damage. Of course, they still take it. Because I'm not a smart waffle. Not very smart. Uh, we have an indicator light on. That's a good sign. We have five diamonds from Jados. Hmm. That must be from the stands because he started giving them out for free. I guess he just gave me my five diamonds back. Well, thank you, Jados. So we need to go over to the Mesa biome to collect some block colors. This is going to go with a very yellow color palette, which should be interesting. It's going to be a themed build, and it could be infinitely expanded. Oh, that's kind of cool, because we are always needing new space. So let's go over to the Mesa biome. I think someone has made a tunnel in the nether for it. i got to clear out some of my inventory first, though. 
Well, we made it to the Mesa Biome, finally. It was a few thousand blocks away. I went to Thunder Gaming's portal to his village and flown from there. Oh, man. It was a trip, but it was fun. It was interesting. But I've got to make the trip back, so I may have to grind over in this area a bit for gunpowder. But once we get that, we should be doing well. Oh, that looks kind of cool, like a red floor, just the way it's generated. But I'm not really interested in battling a bunch of skeletons. Let's go ahead and begin gathering some of this terracotta. I'm going to try to fill up this shulker box. And maybe some of my inventory, if I have enough patience for this. I've come a long way, so I think I will have patience. Let's check this chest just real quick before we do switch clips. I'm interested. Nothing around. Power three. Ooh, melon seeds. Might take those. Might need those. Hmm. Fair enough, then. A full shulker box of terracotta should do us, and I'm trying to make it back on three rockets. I'm trying to get to Thunder Gaming's Island. Cross your fingers that I do make it. I think it's directly south. I've just got to make sure there. We are. Oh, this is nice. Oh, Thunder Gaming, you don't know how I'm thankful, so thankful for your area. Oh, ho, ho, ho. one rocket left. Yes, yeah, so now we can make it back to where we need to go. Well, I have also got to collect some other materials, but on the way, we can make a couple of stops and get those. It shouldn't be too difficult. Thunder Gaming, Llama Freak, and myself have come together to build this little area off camera. It's like a multifunctional farm. It has a skeleton spawner, two of them, I believe. There is a zombie spawner, two of those, and a uh, spider spawner into that chest system. It's like an auto kill system. And so we're over here collecting some of these bones because we're gonna need it for our dying of the terracotta. And not only that, maybe some concrete blocks. So I'm gonna try to restock this chest a bit. I think I got enough bone to cover us for now. I just wanted to restock this a bit for people who are interested in getting bones. Flowers everywhere. I'm really hoping they have what I'm looking for. I'll take one of these. I don't think I have one of those. But I'm looking for a sunflower. Of all things, and I don't think the flower biome has it. I think you have to find that in a sunflower plains. I think that's the biome for it. I'll continue looking around. We might be able to find it. It's the last one I need for my dye generation. But I'm just seeing very colorful flowers. Oh, that's disappointing. The last one. I finally found it. It took a long time, but we now have this the sunflower is a few thousand blocks out i spotted a bunch of them i was like oh okay gotta grab one of those bring it back to base real quick so now we have this yellow concrete powder wonder how it looks well with that Ooh, it's a little bit bright it's very bright i didn't think about that but the yellow terracotta looks very good with the green in the savanna this is a bit strong it's coming on very strong actually hmm but, you know, we could still make use of it somewhere. I don't know exactly where. But I really love that paleness of it. I didn't realize how pale it was. Very light, and that's very dull. So we may use it in the design, may not. It could be very awesome for some accents. But I'm going to roll this into a time lapse so you can finally see what the structure is. This base is going to be called the Hive. Well, well, that's the first time I've ever used the replay mod. 
very interesting mod. I gotta say, I gotta learn a lot about it. It's the first time using it, so the first time lapse is gonna be a bit shaky. I do apologize if that was a little bit cringy. I tried to make it look good. But, you know, I ended up building some segments on that I removed and it just didn't look good in the time lapse. So I kind of had to cut it up a bit. I do apologize. Next time, I will be a lot more aware of that. Now, when it comes to the hive build, we've got two hives so far. I've only done two, yes, because I didn't want to go into some weird direction and totally mess up my build. So I got to really plan this out, allocate enough space to expand this. And you may notice it's looking very raw on the sides. We're going to be fixing that with some interesting blocks and decor. I was actually looking at some of this concrete powder I put in the side of the build. I think it's over here. Yeah, I put it in the side. Now that doesn't look terrible. And I want to do some birch as well, maybe on the side of some fence posts to give it some added support and depth. But yeah, you know, I started looking at this. I have yellow concrete. It just doesn't look that great speckled in. I don't know. It's too solid. That's what it is. I don't want it to look like plastic. And, you know, other things I want to bring in is like leaf blocks to give it more of a natural feel. Like it's forming into the earth more. And maybe some pathways going on the outside of those leaf blocks to make it look like it's patched into the earth. Kind of a cool concept to think about. On the insides of these hives, I'm going to dig down. I got to dig down to make room for our work areas or our farms. And yeah, so that's going to be the tedious thing getting a beacon and bringing them downwards. Going to use these as window sills and put in some glass blocks, maybe some black stained glass. Let me know what you guys think. I need some of your suggestions. What could I do? I was looking at this hive, I could have messed up on it. I noticed this is three blocks wide, but it may be something we cannot help. So I don't know for sure. That is two blocks on the other side, that's why I say that. I'm going to take a very close look at this and make sure it's correct before I do move on with the next episode, because if I have to redo this whole ring, I will just do it off camera. Oh, I really hope it's okay. I think it's, I think it is. It's just really strange how this is connected. Hmm. Anyways, that's what I have planned for my base build. And this is going to grow a considerable rate. It's going to expand. I, you know, and that's the great thing about it. You can infinitely expand it. I could continue going up the mountainside. It would not affect how we access our base or anything of that sort. Because if we're digging downwards, then hills aren't really a big issue it's just a little bit more work there you are plans divulged it looks like crap right now improvements are to come for this base don't worry it's looking very raw right now i just wanted to get the structure in to show you what it looked like oh, i'm gonna block myself in so i don't have to worry about mobs but i think that's going to be about it for this episode guys hope you did enjoy watching we'll see you in episode four. Have a fantastic day.